Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is August 1st. 2023 and before we jump to things here as per usual i wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description i do have a dragon shield affiliate link as well as a tcg player affiliate link and any purchase that you make using those links i get a small bonus from it and it really helps support the channel now here are my lovely patreon supporters you guys are the reason why i can make content like this on a daily basis so thank you all very much with that being said let's get moving Our loser section off here today with Urza Lord High Artificer, and this is the borderless copy from Dominaria Remastered, down 10.46% from $11.95 to $10.70 for its market price, and its average price is $12.64. Next up is Toxic Deluge from Double Masters. This card is down 10.47% from $12.42 to $11.12 for its market price, and its average price is $11.87. Fable of the Mirror Breaker from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This card is down 10.57% from $19.20 to $17.17 .17 for its market price, and its average price is $19.34. Grizzlebrand here from Modern Masters 2017. This card is down 10.61% from $9.61 to $8.59 for its market price, and its average price is $9.64. Savala Heart of the Wilds from Jumpstart. This card is down 10.75% from $13.58 to $12.12 .12 for its market price, and its average price is $13.54. Rankle, Master of Pranks, and this is the extended art version of this card from Throne of Eldrain. This card is down 10.89% from $10.56 to $9.41 for its market price, and its average price is $10.52. Jalem Tome from Antiquities, this card is down 10.96% from $15.51 to $13.81 for its market price, and its average price is $15. Exquisite Blood here from Jumpstart, this card is down 11.21% from $34.26 to $30.42 for its market price, and its average price is $31.06. Balefire Dragon here from Innistrad. This card is down 11.31% from $26.08 to $23.13 for its market price, and its average price is $23.49. Witch's Clinic here from Commander 2021, and this is the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster. It is down 11.37% from $10.29 to $9.12 for its market price, and its average price is $10.20. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Subtlety from Modern Horizons 2. This card is up 6.96% from $22.14 to $23.68 for its market price, and its average price is $27.49. And the pre-release copy is currently sitting at $31.98 for its average price. The borderless copy is sitting at $24.94 for its market price and its average price is $39.49. And this card is being played a ton right now in the modern format in decks like Living End, Crashing Footfalls, Murktai Region, and Demir Control, as well as Merfolk. And the next winner on our list today is an Ikoria Triome. It's Rogreen Triome. And this card is up 9.09% from $11.77 to $12.84 for its market price, and its average price is $12.60. The pre-release copy is sitting at $15 for its average price, the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $12.34 for its market price, and its average price is $12.50, and the showcase copy is sitting at $11.74 for its market price, and its average price is $12.46, and this card is being played a ton in the modern format in decks like 4 to 5 Color Omnath, Jeskai Control, and Dominal Creativity, as well as Commander decks like Aragorn the Uniter and the Ur-Dragon. And the next winner on our list today is Void Winner from the Secret Layer series. This card is up 11.67% from $16.79 to $18.75 for its market price, and its average price is $44.98. And you could have picked this card up within the Secret Layer series, just some totally normal guys for $30, but it's no longer available, so you're going to have to buy the singles on the secondary market. 
and the pre-release copy from the original. Battle for Zendikar set is sitting at $36.93 for its market price and its average price is $31.31. The promo pack version of the card is sitting at $14.71 for its market price and its average price is $35. And the original copy from Battle for Zendikar is sitting at $24.48 for its market price and its average price is $29.97. Next up here is Calyx Guided by Fate, and this card is up 13.55% from $11.51 to $13.07 for its market price, and its average price is $11.55. And the extended art version of this card is currently sitting at $9.35 for its market price and its average price is $10. And the showcase copy is sitting at $11.30 for its market price and its average price is $14.62. And the foil etch version of the card is sitting at $13.24 for its average price. And the halo foil is sitting at $43.46 for its market price and its average price is $44.30. And this card is being played a ton right now in the standard format in Selesnya Enchantments decks as well as Commander decks like Tom Bombadil, Goshinte of Life's Origin, and Sithis Harvest Hand. Next up here is Living End from Time Spiral. This card is at 15.29% from $9.22 to $10.63 for its market price, and its average price is $16.89. One of the cards that's actually piquing the interest for some suspend cards is the 10th Doctor. Its ability Timey Wimey for 7 colorless. If you pay 7 colorless, time travel 3 times, activate only as a sorcery. So this will remove counters up to 3 times, so this card pairs perfectly with Living End. The Time Star Remastered version of the card is sitting at $13.60 for its market price, and its average price is $16.17. And this card is being played mostly in the modern format in Living End decks, as well as Commander decks like the Scarab God, Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways, and also Wilhet the Rock Cleaver. Winner on our list today is another card with Suspend, it's Mox Tantalite. From Modern Horizons is up 21.55% from $5.15 to $6.26 for its market price, and its average price is $6.76. And like Living End, this card also has the three suspend counters, which is another target for the 10th Doctor, so people are speculating on this card, and it's been on the rise. And this card is being played mostly in the Commander format in decks like Obeka, Brute Chronologist, and Prosper Tonebound. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Subtlety from Modern Horizons 2. This card is up 13.34% from $17.62 to $19.97 for its foil market price, and its average price is $42.49. Cephalid Illusion is here from Torment. This foil is at 14.25% from $52.41 to $59.88 for its foil market price, and its average price is $114.95. Doomed Necromancer from Onslaught. This foil is up 16.20% from $26.61 to $30.92 for its foil market price, and its average price is $18.49. Mirari's Wake here from Judgment. This card is up 16.61% from $167.89 to $195.78 for its foil market price, and its average price is $119. Bramble Sovereign from Battle Bond. This foil is up 21.37% from $10.53 to $12.78 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.53. Bramblewood Paragon from Morning Tide. This foil is up 21.76% from $5.33 to $6.49 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.22. Confusion in the ranks from Mirrodin. This foil is up 24.92% from $9 to $11.23 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.35. Raging Goblin here from 7th edition, this foil is up 27.79% from $12.09 to $15.45 for its foil market price, and its average price is $16.15. Phage the Untouchable from Legions, this foil is up 27.88% from $195.49 to $250 for its foil market price, and its average price is $143.54. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. 
Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cars would be most surprised to see on the list, and which cars do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.